G'day guys, welcome back to Pokers Mechanical. I'm Clinton, I want to show you something that we've got from Zoo. It's one of their amazing products. Uh, it is the Turbo Beanie. I'm going to show you how to actually fit it. And they can be quite tricky. Uh, and as you try and get them on, quite often there's not much room down underneath the turbo or around it to be able to work with. And also, Zoo is known for high performance products for 2Js and drift cars and all that sort of stuff but it's not the only place that we use it here at Pokey. Because today, I'm gonna to be throwing it onto this bad boy of a patrol. Now, this isn't just a regular patrol with a shitty old ZD30 in it. This has got the big 6.5 litre Chev Turbo V8. And we're gonna be putting the uh, beanie right there on that turbo. Okay, what you get in the Zoo Performance Turbo Beanie box is you don't get these cable ties, but I'll show you what they're for. I'll put them in there just because I'm going to need them for this job. Uh, is your turbo beanie plus the retainer springs or the holding springs. So when this goes on, we have got, make sure you can come in and see. We've got these little springs. They'll clip onto there and then that'll clip across to that side there. And then that, once it goes over the turbo, holds that together and keeps all the heat retained in. Now, why do you need one of these? It reduces the heat around inside your engine bay, keeps it away from the intake, keeps your coolant lines cooler, retains the heat inside the turbo where it needs to be, so it goes out the exhaust instead of expanding it through the rest of your engine bay and losing power. All right, let's get in there. Now, I did say I'm gonna use these cable ties, and I will get to them in a second. I'll just work out which way this is going to orientate onto there, which it will go down that way. So, to get that on, I'm going to put the spring on this side because we've got the heat shield there in the way on that one. And we've got one each side. Now, have you guessed what the cable ties are used for yet. I hope so. That means I'm not teaching idiots if you've already worked it out. Um, clip the zip tie through the hook of that spring. So it's like that. And then when we get it in, we can actually reach that because it's really hard to get under there to reach it, to be able to pull that tight and get it over there onto that spring. Putting the cable tie onto it just makes it a lot easier for your installation time. Uh, a lot easier to reach and deal with it, especially with the heat and everything that's going on down in here. Right. And wiggle this down. Make sure you've still got your cable tie attached to your spring. And get down behind that heat shielding. I'll poke this around underneath the intake side of the turbo. So I can reach that there. Now I've got it around that side, I can easily knock out. So I've got to get it around the actual return line of the oil. Right, that'll work that side. I'll make sure I've got this side in a position I can actually use it as well. Now, I'm a bit dumb. It'd probably be smart to actually grab uh, rubber gloves because this is Kevlar and fiberglassy sort of material stuff that um, is actually gonna be itchy. So I probably should have protected myself and I do advise people use a little bit of safety gear before going ahead and doing this job. Because that would have been a smart move. Clinton, why didn't you do that? <laughs> You kind of have to just trust me of what I'm doing here, of being able to pull that through with the cable tie, but once you get it through, you can just grab the spring. You may be able to see this side, I don't know. Where is it there? Um, just come straight down through there. Just put that there, actually there, and
Right, now that's on, that's it. It's uh, good to go. Once you've got those springs attached, I'll just show you here. So we've got lead light, spring attached there, if it'll focus. Come on, there we go. So the spring attached there and spring attached to the other side. And as you can see from the back, that basically wraps all the way around over the top of that turbo really, really well. Keeps it all the heat in. Oh, one last thing before I go. Got this little plastic sheet, protective sheet that covers the uh, print. If you don't take that off, trust me, it melts to it and it looks terrible. <laughs> Sweet, Zoo Performance, Turbo Beanie install video, done. Now, if you want to get yourself one of these Turbo Beanies, jump on to zooperformance.com and you can pick yourself up a discount by typing in Pokey10 in the discount code for everything on their website. Oil coolers, turbo beanies, wastegate beanies, they've got the works on there. All their fuel lines, hoses, uh, joiners, couplings, everything. Cheers for watching, guys. Uh, if you like what you see here and you want to see more of what we're doing, we're going to be getting Zoo Performance products into the shop setting this whole area up in the workshop over here specifically for youtube videos like this and uh yeah so make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button on the video for us and we'll see you on the next video cheers